Martin, you were incredibly disappointed on 93 minutes, as was everybody else when that equaliser went in. What what was it, a lack of concentration? How do you view that goal? Sometimes things happen at, at any club, but to concede a goal, equaliser in the 93rd minute, is so disappointing for, for fans as well. And I feel that they are entitled to express their feelings. But the only thing is, I, I'm, I don't mind if they call me whatever. And and I don't mind booing, you know, but there was a few uh, fans calling me an idiot and there was a, probably a bit different and I don't want to be called an idiot. But as I said before, they, they are entitled because they pay to watch us, to have an opinion and hopefully, and that is my always my purpose, that is what I want. I, I want to make them happy, but they should realize that I was probably, as you said, the most disappointed person in the stadium and we have to do better for them. But don't forget that we are a new team. We've got uh, five uh, from the seven new players who are out and they come back now. So I think we will show our fans that we are a good team and they should appreciate the fact that we've got some good players now, you know, since I've been here. But there's a big transitional period as well. All the players left. And of course, there's people telling, telling me and telling other people at the club and players that we probably should have kept a lot of other players, but where are all these players? You know, Brad Hangeland and Aaron Hughes are probably the only two players still playing and all the rest of all these players since two or three years ago are not playing anymore. So I think if you look at our squad, uh, it's probably better than ever. Sometimes you could say it's a bit a, a bit old, but we've got Kasami, we've got Meska, we've got Kakani, we've got Chris David, we've got some good young players as well. So in the end, I, I feel that we will be fine, but on the way, Till the end, I hope that we can make the. Okay, so how long before you reach that that position where you think you're happy with? Yeah, but how long, uh, darling? If you see us play uh, first half, 64%, we played better than them and, and, and we were in control. And then the second half we scored, we are almost scored in two thoughts, you know. Shall we uh, score a second one? How many possibilities did we have to score the second one? We had three offside goals and one was probably not an offside goal. A ball against the bar. We had two one for ones with uh, Berbatov. So they should have scored the second goal and they didn't. And of course, I have to hold my hands up. I'm responsible. And but does that make it even more galling when you're walking off the pitch? That was the most when disappointing you know. thing that I know that it was a corner kick. And, and we, of course, we tell players, you mark him, you mark him, you mark him. And they did well. And at, did, at that particular moment, one of our players didn't do well. He had, uh, say, seven or eight yards to run on the ball. And you shouldn't allow that. And of course, we know that. And, and I'm responsible. And I said to the players, we don't blame each other. I don't blame you, but we have to do better. So I have to be responsible. And of course, people can, can boo, but don't be too personal. You know, give us a little bit of time. That is my message. And if not, yeah. But I think we will be fine in the future because we've got talent. We've got, uh, as I said, young talents. We've got young talents who can play. We've got all the players who can play. So it's about the mix and about the, the combination. And I'm 100% I'm convinced that we will be fine. Brian Ruiz obviously stretched off at that game, looked in a lot of pain. And I know that you feared the worst at the time of the injury, but the prognosis is a lot brighter than you thought it was. Uh, he damaged one ligament, so that is better than we thought initially and uh, he will be out for, for another week, but that is good because I really thought it was a bad injury and it isn't, so that is good. And Dimitar Berbatov came off with a slight hamstring strain. How yeah, there was he? another thing, he's always fit and he can play, and, but now he had to come off because of his hamstrings and we will make an assessment tomorrow morning, so and after that I will make a decision if he can start. And if not, I can assure you that Darren Bent is fit now. So Darren Bent can start as well and, and we can st we will still have a very good team out and hopefully uh, hurt them. And Kieran Richardson, presumably you took him off because he hadn't played 90 minutes and you wanted not to risk a recurrence of that injury. All these little things, you know, made a big problem for of us course. because I, I had to take Kieran Richardson off, uh, of course, after 67 minutes because of his cramps. And that didn't help because you can't make the right uh, substitutions later. Dimitar had to come off, so I had one left for Brian Ruiz with Damien Duff. So hopefully uh, my players will get fitter and fitter because, of course, Ken Richardson was out for months, didn't play a lot. And, and I think he's a terrific player because he's got that dynamic style that I like, you know, to close people down and not back off uh, like we did, for example, against Newcastle. We backed off too much. We, we were soaking up the pressure. And I would like to press them earlier. And with players like Kieran Richardson, we can do that. So that is why I like Kieran Richardson, hopefully, and he's fit now. Hopefully he can start against Chelsea.
You've been asked a lot about Jose Mourinho and about last night's result in the Champions League. Does it make a difference going to Chelsea when they have that depth of quality in the squad? Is there a good time to play Chelsea? That will be a bit easier, cool. That is always a little advantage, but you never know. Maybe they are so fired up to win this third game in the week that they will be probably more motivated than before. And and that maybe is a disadvantage for us, but I feel they lost against Everton. They lost against Basel, which is a terrific team. So I, I don't think they w- would like to, to lose the third match in six or seven days. So that is that is that can be a good thing. But I think we have to trust ourselves. We have to go at them. We have to give them a, a, an unbelievable game. We have to work uh, our socks off. And as you know, we did well over the last three or four matches against them, you know, as, especially away from home. So hopefully we can do that again with the support of our away fans. And they are always Do you think that travelling support really makes a difference at Stamford Bridge? Don't you think so? For I sure. think if you, if you saw us last year, you know, mm. a lot of supporters there. And, good atmosphere and I think we made them happy in that game although it was a draw but uh, will we settle for a draw now uh, maybe but on the other hand uh, if there's any chance of making it, and we could have scored last year you know when we had two chances in the in the final five minutes uh, the year before with Kasami with a penalty we should have beaten then in the Carling Cup then so hopefully we can we can do it again and I, I hope that uh, because it is in our Fulham area, you know, Chelsea. I hope that we can make a lot of people in that area happy and not the Chelsea fans. We wish you luck on Saturday. Okay, thank you.